It's really cold outside, but it's actually warm enough in the greenhouse to start cold loving herbs, flowers, and crops. And so I'm actually gonna be uh, getting these going and watering them with a solar powered irrigation system. Let me show you what I'm doing this seed starting season. Okay, so I have a lot of trays already going and you can see they're starting to dry out a little bit. Um, when you're starting seeds, it's really important that they have constant moisture. Um, so because this isn't a spot on the farm that I frequent multiple times throughout the day, like I would with my horse stable or my barns, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And so I am setting up a rain point um, solar irrigation system. And this is going to allow me to keep these watered without constantly having to come in here one or more times a day. I can kind of set it and forget it. And uh, I think the seedlings will germinate a much higher success rate. So you're gonna set it up with me today. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm actually just gonna set this on the table right here. And you can see on the side, the input and the output. So that's where I'm gonna put my hoses. I already set this up and hooked it up to the hub, which is in the house. So I did that before starting this video. Here's the input and the output for the hose. So we're gonna start working on that. Uh, but this gets plenty of sunlight right here. And uh, now it's time to hook the hose line. We're just gonna cut each of these to size. This came in the box. show you in a minute why I have that hose coming up through the bottom of the potting bench. Okay, so behind the potted plant here, I have the watering station. What I'm doing now is starting to run the irrigation line. So it comes with all of these little connectors. If you wanted to stick um, one of these spikes into potting soil to directly water a plant or a root line, you would, um, like on the end, just join it like that. But what I'm doing is I'm interested in actually running a series of tubes. I'm taking these little connectors that came with it right here because I want it to go right into the drip tray and water the entire bottom of the seedling tray rather than focus on one root. And so what I'm going to do is just connect these over and over all of these little T-joints so a lot of these little joints that came with this like this, I'll be connecting. So there'll be longer pieces between the trays and then a shorter piece of hose that will go directly into each drip tray. I have everything configured here. I have lots of tubing left lots of connectors left and let me show you how i set this up before we go ahead and i connect the water and get this turned on so what i did is i have my first tube right here and i ran because this didn't fit in the tray from the first output i cut, didn't cut the tube long enough i ran another piece of black tubing right here then i ran it out and it's really sleek i just tucked it under the lip of the drip trays and so the tubing runs through there. On this one, because it fit nicely in the drip tray, I did not put an extension of the black tubing. That's just the connector where it's gonna come right out of that little T. And again, under here, I ran it under the table and up through to the next tray, into the next tray, again, under the lid. And then I have the open tubing just in the last tray. If you're keeping your plants or your seed starts somewhere where you're kind of worried about the amount of solar energy you're going to be able to harness in order to power the irrigation station, you can actually charge this also with a USB. Um, there's a lithium battery in there that charges that way. So solar or USB, I'm going completely off solar. And now we just have to hook this up to the water source. So the way we're going to do that in the beginning is I have a plug that I plugged into the in slot here. I'm going to keep a large bucket of water, five gallons underneath. This is great for a greenhouse because one, you could take advantage of the thermal mass from, especially if you had like a 50 gallon water drum, right? Water freezes and gets colder slower than the air temperature does. And so what ends up happening is you're gonna help maintain heat in your greenhouse, especially if you have a lot of water drums. So I'm gonna bring in five gallons and I'm gonna set this up. I'll show you how to do that on my phone so that it can automatically water on a timer. So we're gonna go a couple times a day for a few minutes until I know that enough water has been pumped up out of the bucket 
to go into each of the drip trays and water them successfully. The other thing that's great about this is watering seedlings from underneath is so much better than watering from the top. If you've ever watered over the top, especially if your soil isn't wet enough, you know that it runs everywhere. It also increases the amount of mold or algae that you can build up on the top. So this is gonna be a great system. Really excited about this. Let's get the water in place and then I'll show you everything that hooks up on my phone. All right, down underneath the potting bench is where this wire is going to go into the jug of water. This is the pump. Okay, I have my irrigation system all set up. I have everything charged. I followed the prompts on my screen to download the app that's gonna control the irrigation pump. And also that connects to this air humidity and temperature. Here it is right here. This is gonna let me know how hot or cold it is in the greenhouse, how humid it is, which is super important when watering your seedlings or any other plants, because as it heats up and as the air gets drier in the summertime, we're gonna need to increase our watering. So this is really important. Again, it hooks up to the phone. Let's do a screen record and I'll show you how I'm gonna set up this app to water my plants and how I'm gonna read what this temperature gauge and humidity gauge has to say. Okay, I'm opening the HomeGuard app. It shows me all of the pieces I have hooked up. So the first thing I wanna see is the temperature and the humidity. So that's great. It shows me exactly what it is in the greenhouse. And if I had had this hooked up longer, I could see a chart or a graph of the fluctuation over time. Now going back to the main page, I'm gonna look at the irrigation pump. This is what I'm going to use to control the water. So I can create the duration if I wanna go ahead and just turn on the water right now immediately. But the really cool thing is I can also set up a schedule. So every single day, for example, I could set the water to run on a timer and it would do it for me automatically, which is great when you're out of town. It's running right now. I don't know if you can hear it. It's super quiet, but it works and I'm using solar energy, which is awesome. I am super excited. It's watering. This changes my job completely from going to making sure every single tray is watered to just filling up the five gallon bucket with a hose and calling it good. So I'm gonna set this up on a daily plan. I'm gonna water for a few minutes every day and increase or decrease as the season requires. Um, I can't recommend this enough. If you are watching this on YouTube, I'm going to put a link and a coupon code in the show description. If you're watching this on another platform, um, the link is going to be in my bio with all the details. Thank you so much for watching.